This is the Severn Estuary, a unique and irreplaceable part of the UK's natural heritage. The wildlife and habitats found here are amongst the finest examples of their kind in Europe. They're protected through a variety of international laws and agreements. With the second largest tidal range in the world, at some 14 metres, it is hardly surprising that the UK government is currently considering harnessing that tidal power in order to generate electricity. There are a number of options on the table, including three barrages and two lagoons. Each of these work by holding back the water at high tide and then letting it out again on a low tide to produce that energy. But by doing so, by artificially creating a longer high tide period, the area you see behind me, that important habitat crucial for so many species, is at risk of being greatly reduced. Each of the options will have varying impacts on this habitat. The Cardiff Western, the very large barrage proposed to stretch from Cardiff to Western Supermare, potentially could destroy 80% of this crucial habitat. It is not, however, just those options which government is considering. There are the more innovative measures known as the seven embryonic technologies. It is these which we believe offer the most promise and could hold a solution. In this debate, we have to ensure that the most cost-effective but least environmentally damaging option is pursued. And above all, if we do anything, we have to make sure that the decisions taken now in the face of climate change are ones we will not live to regret in years to come. For more information about this and the options that the government is proposing, you can download our latest Seven Estuary report from our website www.wildlifetrusts.org